everyone and Merry Christmas. I hope you are enjoying your holidays wherever you are. I'm Mary and I talk about faith, marriage and lifestyle. Thank you for joining and thank you for our love and support always. If you're new here, you're welcome and feel at home. In today's video, I'll be talking on the topic attributes of a single Christian girl and this is part 2 of it. If you have not watched part 1, kindly click on that link in the description to watch that video and I pray that you find that video helpful so a christian girl is just a girl not just a girl who goes to church every day but it's a girl that has decided to live her life to please god first of all she has allowed god in her life i mean she's born again because you know you might be going to church but you are not born again but this is a girl that has allowed god in her life and has accepted god in her life and you know she just live her life to please god not she's not perfect but you know every day you know she strives you know to to live a life to please god and if you are there and you know you have not given your life to christ you know going to church daily or every sunday is not equal to being a, a true a christian you know so if you are there and you have not given your life please do it before you know be, you know at the before you leave this channel today so you know the attributes of a single christian girl you know is just like you no know, the things that you know they're just simple characteristics you know of a kind of girl who has you no know, a christian girl a single christian girl you no know, not even a girl alone a single christian also a single christian boy so if you're there and you're a man you know this and you are listening to me today you know these characteristics will also um, i mean you no know, apply to you so the first characteristics or attributes of a single christian girl or you know the the second uh, the first one is you know in this video that the a true christian girl is prayerful you know a christian girl you know she just she's not you know she doesn't pray once in a while you know she prays frequently and she does not only pray for herself she also pray her for her friends you know she pray for other people she intercede for the other people's needs you know she do it boldly she do it diligently she do it frequently you know because her help is from god so the strength to pray daily is renewed so as a christian girl also i mean learn to i mean just pray that god give you grace to be a prayerful person you know if you're there and you know you are not a prayerful person you don't condemn yourself the grace of god is always available so you know just ask god to give you grace to be prayerful as we end this year and also as we start this new year you know Pray that God give you grace. You know, ask God to give you grace to remain prayerful. Because as a Christian, no most of our no all not most of all all our battles we win them on our knees. So if you are a true Christian girl, you need to have this any this habit of being a prayerful. So just learn, you know, read the word of God, you know always and ask god to give you grace you know to remain on a prayer i mean to remain on a prayer altar and the second attribute of a true christian girl is generous you know a true christian girl is generous you know she you know she is not afraid to give because you know she knows that you know for you to be a, you know for you to be blessed by god you need to be a blessing to someone else and you know this me you know for you to be a generous you know for you to give out or to share something that you have with someone it does not mean that you have everything you know everybody you know wherever you are you know that in that position there's somebody who desires something from you so especially in this season of christmas so, i mean show your generosity by just sharing something with someone that you know you know that she needs it so you know a true christian girl is generous she gives you know not just because she wants people to see but she gives because she knows that god her father is a giver so if you are a true christian girl you need to ask god to give you this grace to be generous
another attribute of a true christian girl is friendly you know because a true christian girl is friendly because you know you cannot you know you cannot have friends if you are not friendly you are safe so it starts with you for you to have friends you must be friendly so a true christian girl is a friendly girl you know those around her you know knows that they can find a true friend in her so don't know she is not you know her face is not she is not like she i mean she's she doesn't frown every day you know if some Somebody looks at you, you know, you always frown. No, a true Christian girl is a friendly girl. Always just be, you know, just make sure, you know, people around you know they are easy, you know. I mean, they are attracted to you by this virtue of friendly. So as a Christian girl, learn to be friendly. Another thing, another characteristic of a true Christian girl that she is determined, you know, as a true christian girl you know you should be determined you know it's you know determined in every goal determined in setting goals you know according to god's plan and purpose and she does you know she does not just become discouraged by obstacles because you know instead she uses the obstacles i mean to to fuel her to fuel her forward so a true christian girl is determined you know to determine to take steps according to god's word so as a true christian and girl you need to be determined and i pray that god will give you this grace another thing another characteristics of a true christian girl is she is healthy you know she's not just healthy in her body she's healthy in her soul she's i mean she's healthy in her spirit so as a true christian girl you need to be healthy eat the right food you know do exercise you know do exercise frequently you know even healthy you know you know feed your spirit man with food that is the word of god you know she is just healthy all around so as a true christian girl learn to be healthy do exercise eat well have you no know, create enough time to rest and you know this you know a healthy body is a healthy mind so as a as a christian girl you know you know I mean, as a Christian girl, you need and learn to be a healthy person. Don't, you know, don't forget about this. Another thing about a true Christian girl that she is disciplined, you know, she, she's disciplined in everything, you know, disciplined in her words, disciplined in the way she, you know, she, 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 I mean, she, 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 I mean, she approaches people, disciplined in everything, you know, a Christian girl knows how to say no. You know, if you are disciplined, you know, a true, if, if you want to know someone is disciplined, you know, not everything that, you know, we want to do this, yes. You want to do this, yes. You want to go where, yes. Your friends want to go somewhere, they tell you, say yes, no. It, it means that you are not a disciplined person. But a true Christian girl is a disciplined person. Even discipline in your food. Discipline, you know, in your diet. Discipline, you know, if you are disciplined, you are not, you know, I mean, you will not be found in every place. If you are disciplined, you know, there are things that you cannot say if you're disciplined there are things you cannot put on so a true christian girl is disciplined another thing is a i mean a true christian girl is confident she does not fear you know she knows that her confidence is in god you know she is fearless you know a true christian girl is fearless because she trusts in god and she has no need to fear because if you really trust in god you know you will be confident so a true christian girl is not fearless so if you are there and you are not you it seems that you are fearless i pray that god god will give you grace to be bold enough because you trust in him another thing about a true christian girl that you know she is modest you know a christian girl is modest she does not just act you know she does not dress just anyhow you know exposing everything outside you know you know attracting unnecessary attention no a true christian girl is modesty so as a lady wherever you are make sure that you are putting on well you know just to i mean you know just to please god you are not pleasing anybody but you are just pleasing god in your dressing god and i pray that god will give you grace 
another thing is a true christian girl you know she's rested you no know, she makes time to rest and you know she's diligent about getting enough rest you cannot afford just to work the whole day without get i mean without you no know, getting rest a true christian girl, because if you don't rest you know there there's no way you are going to do more you are there's no way you're going to read you are not i mean to read the word of god to pray you know so as a christian girl you need to have grace and i pray that god will give you grace so if you are there and you are you know you desire you may you are you just you are a christian yes because you go to church but you have not allowed god in your life you know it is very important because whatever that i have shared in this video you know you it is not going to be benefit you if you are not a true christian which is if you are, no you have not allowed Christ in your life so if you are there and you know that you have not allowed god in your life you cannot afford to end this year you know if you have not given your life to Christ and this day i give you this opportunity just to pray this simple prayer with me just say lord jesus i come to you today as a sinner forgive me my sins and write my name in the book of life today i confess with my mouth and i i confess my with my mouth that you are lord and savior of my life Amen. Thank you so much for praying that prayer. If you have prayed that prayer, please make sure you comment in the comment box below. And you know, I share with you, we share to, we celebrate with you this miracle because you know, the greatest miracle, you know, is giving your life to Christ. Thank you so much for watching. And I believe that you have gotten something in this video. Make sure you share this video with those who need it. And if you have not subscribed, just kindly click on the link below the video to subscribe and also click on the bell behind uh, beside there so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be among those that will be notified. Thank you so much for your love and thank you so much for your support this year. I wish you a happy new year. See you in my next video. Bye.